Good morning, dear students of class eight. Today, in your online English class, we will be taking up the text of the lesson, the selfish giant. So we had seen a video based on this lesson. Today, we will be taking up the text. So the giant's garden was beautiful, and ch children they loved to play in it. But the giant was selfish. and he built a huge wall round his lovely garden the children did not enter the garden nor did the spring and summer came and finally the giant saw a change of heart from a selfish giant he became a kind giant so what were the events and circumstances which made him change from a selfish giant to a kind giant so this story by oscar wilde we are going to enjoy every afternoon as they were coming from school the children used to play in the giant's garden it was a large lovely garden with soft green grass here and there over the grass stood beautiful flowers like stars and there were 12 peach trees in the spring time broke out into a delicate blossoms of pink and pearl and in the autumn bore rich fruits the birds sat on the trees and sang so sweetly that the children used to stop their games in order to listen to them how happy we are here they cried to each other so the children they had a very nice time in the garden the garden had beautiful flowers and there were very lovely trees and the children played all sorts of games and the bird also chirped one day the giant came back he had been to visit his friend the cornish oak and had stayed with him for 7 years when he arrived he saw the children playing in the garden what are you doing here he cried in a very gruff voice and the children ran away the giant had returned back and he was angry to see the children playing in his garden now my own garden is my own garden said the giant anyone can understand and i will allow nobody to play in it but myself so he built a high wall all around it and put a, a notice board what did the notice board read trespassers will be prosecuted anyone who passed by that garden will be punished why did he do all this because he was a very selfish giant the poor children had no where to play they tried to play on the road but the road was very dusty and full of hard stones and they did not like it they used to wander around the high walls when their lessons were over and talk about the beautiful garden inside how happy we were there they said to each other so they really wished to go to the giant's garden again then the spring came and all over the country there were little blossoms and little birds only in the garden of the shelf is giant it was still winter the birds did not care to sing in it and there were no flowers children and trees forgot to blossom so everywhere there was spring but not in the giant's garden once a beautiful flower put its head out from the grass but when it saw the notice board it was so sorry for the children that it slipped back into the ground again and went off to sleep the only people who were pleased were the snow and the frost spring has forgotten this garden they cried so we will live here all the year round so spring was not allowed in his garden and there was snow and frost always the snow covered up the grass with great white cloak and frost painted all the trees silver 
Then they invited the north wind to stay with them and he came. He was wrapped in furs and he rode all day about in the garden and blew the chimney pots down. This is a delightful spot, he said. We must ask Hale on a visit. So the hail came. Every day for three hours, he rattled on the roof of the castle till he broke most of the slates and then he ran around and round the garden as fast as he could go. He was dressed in grey and breath was like ice. Because children were not allowed in his garden and that is why spring did not come, only snow, frost, Hail and North Wind remained in his garden. Now what did the giant say? I cannot understand why the spring is so late in coming, said the selfish giant, as he sat at the window and looked out at his cold white garden. I hope there will be a change in the weather. So he wanted spring to come and he hoped that the weather would change. But the spring never came nor the summer. The autumn gave golden fruit to every garden, but to the giant's garden she gave none. He's too selfish, she said. So it was always winter there, and the north wind and the hail and the frost and the snow danced about through the trees. One morning, the giant was lying awake in the bed when he heard some lovely music. It sounded so sweet to his ears that he thought it must be the king's musicians passing by. It was really only little linnet singing outside his window. But it was so long since he had heard a bird singing in his garden that it seemed to him to be the most beautiful music in the world. Then the hail stopped dancing over his head and the north wind ceased roaring and a delicious perfume came to him through the open casement. I believe spring has come at last, said the giant, and he jumped out of the bed and looked out. So the giant was happy that, thinking that spring had come to his garden because he heard a beautiful sound of a small uh, bird and which made him feel that probably spring had come in his garden. So, we have done part one of this lesson. You have earlier also watched the three videos. You will be taking up the question answers of part one in tomorrow's class. Thank you, children. If you have any problem, you can post it in your WhatsApp group. And please read the text on your own also. Thank you.